you know, it's kind of interesting. I, I wasn't really quite sure what I wanted to say when I actually did this video, when I got the news earlier. Um, I, I thought about different ways to approach it. I thought about throwing in throwing it in the face of some people. I thought about um you know being like oh and throwing middle fingers up and uh towards the people that don't want the comic books that I do to succeed and things like that and um rather what I would what I would like to do is just drink something in for a second. Just that right there 100% funded now couple things about this um the first anybody that I think I have to thank for this is God because he is the one who's blessed me with the opportunity to get to do this you know but the second people that need to be thanked for this is you guys for backing the book and taking a chance on me as a writer it means quite a bit not just to me by the way but also to my team you know to Brian and Armand knowing that you know they can continue the book and they can, um, they're, you know, they're going to have a paycheck wait, waiting at the end of the day whenever they turn in work to me. So that, um, that means a lot. It really, it really does mean a lot to, to me and to Brian and Armand. I can speak for them pretty securely in saying they love all you guys too. And they're all, they're, I mean, I talked to them earlier. They're, they're both very grateful how, you know, this has turned out. Um, it's not the end of the road though. Um, our next goal is 15,000. It's our first stretch goal. Um, if we get there, um, we're going to get a brand new cover, um, done by Preston Acevedo. And if you're not familiar with Preston Acevedo's work, he is my artist on three nights, four days. So if you liked three nights, four days as art, and you'd like to see his cover work, that's how we get there. Is a 15k? That is what we will do. If you've already got the box tier that comes with this campaign, which we have uh, 23 left to uh, to sell, <laughs> um, we will um, we will add that in there for you guys for free if we get that. So something to consider. But anyway, um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of talk about about something in regards to this and sort of my approach for the last two months is I I looked at how I approached the the first time we went through this Inglewood Book 2 campaign and the only thing I remember from it really is just constant fucking bickering constantly and constant drama and all this other stuff and everybody was talking about the dramatic stuff nobody was talking about the book itself and when I had taken a couple months to take a break and take a you know mental health vacation I guess you could call it I said to myself I'm like when I come back to this I, I don't want to be doing this like I've been doing it so far you know I really don't because I would much rather be in a situation where when people are coming to me and they're thinking about backing a book, buying a book from me, they're not thinking about sticking it to the other guy. They're thinking about what I'm offering. And, you know, money is money, don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, I want my work to be able to stand on its own. And... Um, basically I decided, I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to cut off all of the nonsense from other people that, you know, don't want the success to happen. I'm just not going to acknowledge them at all because at the end of the day, that's kind of what people want. You know, if they're 
unable to reach a goal that other people are able to reach, instead of consistently working towards getting there, they tend to try to bring other people down, the whole crab, crabs in a bucket thing. And I just said to myself, I didn't want to be that person. I didn't want to feed into, into that. And that's why over the last few months, I've just focused on, on work and getting things done and YouTube content and things like that. And in doing so, I started to notice that things started to get better. YouTube subscri subscribers went up, back up to 18,000. Um, Inglewood, obviously, is now funded. Uh, my Twitch channel continues to grow. We're over 1,000 followers over there. Um, it's, it's insane to me in the way that it's going. And... I think that um, I found the way forward. I really have. You know, I'm tired of the constant fighting. I'm tired of the the bickering back and forth with with people who are just crazy. Let's be honest. And I would much rather spend my time working on the things that I love rather than you know dwelling on some fucking yahoo who's spitting nonsense about me though I will say uh, attempting to start a rumor that I fuck the female members of my audience was pretty hilarious I won't lie but um, regardless what's next well obviously we gotta finish Inglewood book 2 now we gotta get that out there uh, we gotta get it done and the guys know what they gotta do um, the book is about fifth of the way done I think something like that so we still got we got some some catching up to do um, to have it done by the time that the spring rolls around um, probably late spring is when I would like to get that book in people's hands but um, what do we want to be doing for the future it's, it's very simple um, what I am going to be doing is writing stories and putting books out on a more regular basis now um, and in being able to do that, um, we'll, we'll be able to put out, like, ha finally be at a point where instead of one book a year, you know, one graphic novel a year, we're putting out f four or five. I think we finally got it figured out. I've kind of finally nailed down how to properly manage this. And as such, um, all the things I wanted to do this year, we're going to be, be able to do next year and the year after. So, Inglewood obviously is going to have this book. We're going to have um, the next arc after this one, which is called City of Assassins, um, which I'm going to start writing soon. Um, and the other cool thing we're going to get to do is we're actually going to have a rotating uh, staff of pencilers, uh, just between Brian and another gentleman, um, to get Inglewood books out more often to you guys. So that way when one book is done we can have the, the campaign up for the next book like almost immediately and then just keep rotating back and forth. Now that means I gotta I gotta write like two scripts in advance but still means we can get it done that way. So that's pretty fucking cool. And then on top of that um, we've still got Project Lazarus is being worked on. Uh, there's an Inglewood side story called The Bounty Hunter that I've started writing. Uh, the First Servant with uh, me and Bogdan Rezea is gonna be um, going on. Plus, and b probably before any of those, Three Nights, Four Days, Part 2, which I actually need to message Preston about and see um, what he thinks about, you know, getting that whole process started and so on and so forth. So, with that said, I just want to thank all you guys again. I want to thank God for blessing me with the opportunity to do this. And just, man... I think if any one thing that there is that I need to thank God for the most is just showing me a path, you know, a path to to coming back from a dark place. Because this has been one of the hardest years of my life. And now I'm at a point where I can finally bounce back from it and move on to better things, you know, and still 
still be the me that you guys like so much. <laughs> so, um, want to thank you all so much again for all that. Um, tonight I do plan on doing a celebration stream of sorts, um, over on twitch.tv slash C, which is my Twitch channel. Um, not sure what we're going to play tonight, kind of leaning towards the PS4 version of the Spider-Man game. So, uh, come by, hang out, say hi. If you haven't backed the book yet, of course, the link will be in the description. Um, like I said, we want to get to 15,000 so we can get that first stretch goal, get that Preston cover, because that'll be freaking badass. And just keep on rocking, baby. So, with that said, my name is Micah Curtis, your favorite vanilla gorilla. God bless every single one of you.